This Can-Am air intake system is designed to increase power and acceleration by reducing restriction in the intake path. Can-Am 63-1562 air intake fits 2010 to 2012 Dodge Ram 2500 and 3500 trucks with a 6.7 liter diesel engine. The 63-1562 is easy to install and it comes with K&N's famous million mile limited warranty. It is not legal for highway use in California or other states adopting California emission standards. Check knfilters.com for an up-to-date list of models this air intake fits and for a list of other carb adoption states. K&N power testing showed an estimated power gain of 8.2 horsepower at 2,919 RPM with the 63-1562 air intake installed on a 2011 Dodge Ram 2500 with a 6.7 liter turbo diesel engine. Actual results will vary depending on the condition of the vehicle, mileage, weather and other variables. The intake system includes components that have been designed or matched to the needs of these vehicles to produce a safe horsepower increase. Detailed installation instructions are included with this kit. The tools needed for this install are shown. Turn off the ignition and disconnect the negative battery cable. Disconnect the mass air sensor and temperature sensor electrical connections. Then unhook the wiring harness from the airbox. Loosen the hose clamp securing the intake resonator to the turbo inlet hose. Release the two clips securing the airbox lid. Then remove the airbox lid and intake tube from the vehicle. Remove the bolt that secures the lower airbox to the core support. Lift up the lower air box to dislodge it from the mounting grommets. Then remove it from the vehicle. Remove the core support bolt. Install the air box mounting bracket onto the core support using the bolt removed in the previous step. Do not completely tighten the bolt at this time. Install four of the provided six millimeter studs into the K&N air box. Install the two provided airbox mounts to the bottom of the airbox and secure them with the provided hardware. Install the airbox so the mounting studs insert into the airbox mounting grommets. Then secure the airbox to the mounting bracket that was installed in step eight. Tighten the mounting bracket bolts. Remove the passenger side lower bumper mounting bracket nut. Install the tube mounting bracket onto the stud and secure it with the factory nut removed in the previous step. Install the two remaining 6mm studs into the fresh air intake scoop, so the shorter threads are threaded into the inserts. Guide the fresh air intake scoop up in front of the inner fender into the air box and align it with the mounting bracket installed in step 13. Secure the scoop to the mounting bracket with the provided hardware Due to the different front bumper lower valance styles available, it may be necessary to cut the 1.5 inch section between the beads out of the scoop and join the two sections with the provided silicone hose and hose clamps as shown. Set the fresh air intake scoop into position. If there is a 1.5 inch gap between the scoop and the lower valance, then the scoop will need to be cut. Secure the top of the fresh air intake scoop to the air box with the provided hardware. Remove the screws securing the mass air sensor and temperature sensor to the air box. Install the mass air sensor and temperature sensor into the K&N mass air sensor housing using a twisting motion to aid installation. Secure it with the provided hardware. If the vehicle is going to be operated in extremely wet or snow conditions, it is recommended that a dry charger air filter wrap, sold separately, be installed onto the K&N air filter. Set the K&N air filter into the K&N air box. Install the K&N mass air housing onto the mounting studs and into the K&N air filter inlet. Secure the housing to the studs with the provided hardware. Then, secure the air filter with the provided hose clamp. Install the provided silicone hose and hose clamps onto the K&N intake tube. Do not completely tighten at this time. Install the K&N intake tube into the factory turbo inlet hose. Then, connect the K&N hose to the K&N mass air sensor housing. Secure the intake tube with the hose clamps provided. 
Install the airbox lid and secure it with the provided hardware. Reconnect the mass air sensor and temperature sensor electrical connections. Reconnect the vehicle's negative battery cable. Double check to make sure everything is tight and properly positioned before starting the vehicle. It will be necessary for all K&N high flow intake systems to be checked periodically for realignment, clearance and tightening of all connections. Failure to follow the above instructions or proper maintenance may void warranty. K&N makes products for nearly every vehicle on the road. The K&N website allows you to search products by vehicle or dimension, download installation instructions, view dyno charts showing estimated horsepower gains for this product, and view product details. For information on where to buy K&N products, go to knfilters.com.